Hello, I'm Howard Jacobson, with a few things to say about my new novel, Zoo Time, a novel I should say in passing that gave me more pleasure to write than any other novel I've ever written. It's a love story, partly. My hero, Guy Abelman, is wildly in love with his wife. He loves his wife so much that he even loves her mother. He meets them together. They come into a shop he's, he's running as a young man, his mother's shop, and they come, they look like sisters. They come, as he says, without a comma between them. Very beautiful, red-haired, wild, angry the daughter, vivacious the mother, and he falls in love with them both. How right it is to love your mother-in-law is something that the book puts its mind to. How right it is to contemplate having an affair with your mother-in-law is, of course, something else again. I've omitted to say that Guy Abelman is a novelist, a novelist who was once successful but is much less successful now. So a failed novelist, you might say. One of the things he would like to do to revive his career and in a sense to revive the novel itself, the form itself, which he fears is dying, is to write a shocking novel, a novel that will shock contemporary sensibilities. So he thinks that if he were to have an affair with his mother-in-law, not only would that satisfy his desires, assuming his mother-in-law goes along with it, it would also produce, maybe, the shocking novel he is very keen to write. So it's a novel about love, and it's also a novel about novels. It's a comic novel. It's probably the, more, the most purely comic novel I've ever written. In this, it's different from um, The Finkler Question, which won the Man Booker Prize a couple of years ago. But like The Finkler Question, there is serious matter beneath the comedy. Um, and part of the serious matter is, what if it's the case that the novel reading civilization itself is in trouble. My hero's publisher has just shot himself in the mouth. Agents are in hiding. Bookshops are closing. Libraries have closed. Nobody is reading. Everybody is writing. Could this be the very sign that the novel is in its death throes, that everybody wants to write one, one last one, before it's too late? If the book is pessimistic about the state, the state of the novel, I have to tell you that it's, the novel is written in a spirit of very cheerful pessimism. Strangely enough, it is possible to write about catastrophe with exhilaration and exultation. I particularly find it a joyous business thinking about, thinking about catastrophe of this sort.